Details tonight in the case of an alleged inappropriate relationship between a Grove City teacher and a student. Court documents show two years ago, a 17-year-old student sent at least one nude photo of herself to Keith Hallis. He's a teacher and band director at Central Crossing High School. NBC4's Tyler Beckham live in Grove City with more about how the school found out here and what students are saying about it. Tyler? Mark, about 30 minutes ago, we could hear the band practicing over my right shoulder just off to your left there. Central Crossing's principal addressed band members earlier today in school and offered counseling for anyone who needed to talk. Another who's speaking out today is a former student of Hallis's who says none of this sounds like the teacher she knew. This is Central Crossing High School principal Dr. Burke. Hours before Central Crossing's principal calmly delivered a disturbing message to hundreds of parents Thursday evening. Today, one of our teachers was taken into custody by the Grove City Police Department for alleged pandering of sexually oriented matter involving a minor. Roughly a thousand students there sat in class, while a 19-year-old Central Crossing grad and former band member walked into the Grove City Police Department and told an officer that two years earlier she texted nude photos to her band director, Keith Hallis. I was just shocked and I couldn't believe it. Former band member Kayla Seagraves was one of Hallis's students, despite the alarming allegations creating a buzz online. A lot of people are talking about it. Seagraves takes a step back before diving in with opinion. He never gave off a weird vibe. He never gave off that to be uncomfortable around vibe. A rumor mill that began churning among students, some of whom watched as Hallis was led out of the school by police half an hour before class let out on the day the former student made the allegations. Hallis was taken to the Grove City Police Department, where detectives say he admitted receiving what investigators refer to as a couple of the girls' nude photos. No one with the district would go on camera. A spokesperson sent a written statement, reading in part, quote, as soon as we were made aware of the charges, the district placed the teacher on administrative leave pending investigation. Hallis is out on bond. I stopped by his Grandview home today, but nobody answered that door. In court today, a judge ordered he have no unsupervised visits with minors, except for his three young children, and that he not contact that former student. Local for you in Grove City, Tyler Beckham, NBC4. All right, Tyler, thank you.